morning y'all it's mariah and welcome back to my channel girl if you are new you already know what to do go ahead and subscribe down below for the vibes because you're gonna love it here happy vlogtober day 12 i'm really excited because today is gonna be a super fun cute like girl day i'm gonna be meeting up with kelsey today so i'm really excited for that um we booked a candle making class so that should be really fun you guys know i love candles and i already have in my head kind of the candle that i want to make it's going to be a fall scented candle of course because you guys know it's fall and i love fall candles and so i'm going to try and curate the perfect fall candle today so that's going to be really fun um we're also going to head over to lulu do some shopping at lululemon they actually just released this um bone and gold definer jacket and you know you know like i just feel like if i were to ever be a lululemon jacket like i would probably be that one the neutral color and then the hint of the gold the accents with the zipper like it's just so me it's so cute it's so chic like you guys know i have the black and gold one but the bone and gold girl i, I just have to have it so i'm going to show you guys what it looks like um kelsey literally sent me this video last night and she's like oh we have to get that and i'm like you're right we actually just have to get it let me show you guys really quick because it's so cute and the creator that posted this video she's stunning also but the jacket is what we are on the hunt for today so hopefully they have it in stock because i actually need this jacket anywho let's go ahead and get started on our makeup if you see me looking down here i have my little like cute mini vanity mirror so i'm going to be using that to kind of see like what i'm doing um first things first you guys know i'm going to go in with my concealer i think a healthy hopelessness is when we're dealing with endings that are necessary so think about times that we could sense that the relationship is toxic i'm at a job and i know that my season has come to an end but i don't have the courage to step out so you keep delaying the inevitable when you get to a healthy hopelessness you recognize this is over it's dead it's not going to be resurrected it's time for me to move on, end the relationship, sever the ties, kill the dead horse, start the new initiative. And I think we got to have a healthy hopelessness to give us the courage to bring up our necessary endings. And I think we just have to have the both love for ourselves and love for the other person or circumstances say, we're not doing each other a favor by staying in this. You need to go and find what's best for you. I need to go and find what's best for me. And let's just part ways. Hopefully that could be amicable. And it doesn't always feel good, but sometimes it has to happen. We've all had necessary endings in relationships. And so I think sometimes endings are unnecessary. They must happen. And when we don't do it, we just delay the inevitable. I was going to listen to music while I did my makeup. But for some reason, I was like, let me go see what my church posting about i just stumbled across that video and if you're new here the church is called 2819 um i'll go ahead and link their youtube channel down below they dropped some really 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 good gems and i honestly feel like a lot of you guys could benefit from the content on their channel like i just love it there i honestly love the way he preaches i just honestly really love the vibes um i always get a really really good message and so i definitely wanted to share that with you guys so it will be linked in my description box for those of you who are interested because that message that i listened to today was definitely needed like moving on is hard nobody ever said it was easy but i feel like sometimes we know when it's time to move on like how he said in the video like this relationship isn't fruitful it's no longer serving me or i've been at this job for so many years and my season here is over whatever way you can apply that message to your life i feel like it really fits in every circumstance and i just feel like a lot of endings in life are necessary for the trajectory of your life of your future and i feel like a lot of times we have a really hard time with accepting that like some endings just are necessary for growth we'd be like oh I, I love this person or oh i love my job or or i'm not gonna find a new job i'm just scared to leave or i don't want to like move out of my hometown i'm gonna miss my family like even though we know that our purpose in a certain situation has ended for some reason like we still continue to stay but at the same time wondering why our life is stagnant why our life doesn't look any different than what it looked like three four five six seven months ago and not even just talking about like situational things this can go for relationships too and i feel like me personally i've definitely experienced it firsthand like you can literally be with somebody for years and not see any growth in yourself 
any growth in your business like you know you aren't gaining anything you know the relationship isn't fruitful but you're staying because you're comfortable or it might be all that you know but in my personal experience i've noticed that the times where i am uncomfortable are the times that i see the most growth so i say all that to say like don't be afraid to move on girl especially when you know like deep down inside that it's no longer serving you especially if it's not fruitful like we're all here on borrowed time um and so while we are here i feel like you should want to make the best life that you can for yourself and so being in a situation being with a person being in a circumstance that you know is no longer serving you is a complete waste of time like it's such a waste of time and i sometimes even like fought myself for staying places that no longer served me because i can only imagine how far in life i could be right now if i understood the concept of necessary endings like some endings in life are necessary and they're not even endings sometimes they're beginnings like you never know until you actually go for it and so just staying still staying stagnant is not playing it safe i feel like a lot of times we think like oh i'm gonna just play it safe you actually not playing it safe and i feel like if i know what i know now girl i would have did things so differently hold on y'all because i gotta blend this out and i can't be caulking hold on but yeah girl knowing what i know now could have been way way further but i don't regret anything i feel like i had to go through that to learn what i know now but like i said in my last video like any knowledge or anything i can share with you guys to help y'all be better i'm gonna share it so that being said we just have to know when it's time to move on when god is calling us to enter a new season and i feel like our faith is tested the most when we do scary things like that when we don't want to move on but we solely are moving on based off of faith alone and i feel like for me personally like those are some of my most intimate conversations with god because i'm solely moving away from something that i don't want to move away from based off of faith alone and so i have faith that god will carry me through this uncomfortable walk into the next season that i'm not really sure if i'm ready for like are y'all following me like i feel like endings are so necessary and i almost don't want to call it an ending like I said, a lot of times we need to look at it as a beginning. And so I'm not sure who needed to hear this. Obviously, I think I probably needed to hear it as well because it popped up on my YouTube shorts today. But I'm gonna go ahead and share it in the description box with you guys if you wanna go ahead and check out my church's YouTube channel. Anywho, we're just about done with makeup, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna go in next with my blush. And then once we do blush, then I'll go ahead and add on my mascara and then we'll do like our lip combo and take out these clips and hopefully my hair doesn't like look nuts the outfit i'm gonna be wearing is so so cute i can't wait for you guys to see it it's super chic but also like really casual as well because we're not like going anywhere super fancy we're just going to make candles and lululemon and we may go get food i want to go to toast nor you guys know i love that cafe and Kelsey hasn't been yet. And so I'm like, girl, we have to go to Toast Noir. They have super cute like coffees and they do like the designer like powder stencil on top. And they also have really good food as well, girl. That lobster panini, so good. So good, they have really good salads. Like I really wanna go there, but it just depends on time, like how much time we end up having. This is literally like my favorite mascara. It's so, it's so good. I also want to look into buying a lash serum so if you guys have any like recommendations like comment them down below because i really want to get into like really really growing my lashes all right y'all so mascara is on um blush is on we're basically ready i'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with my setting spray makeup is done i'm just kind of fanning it so the setting spray can kind of just set in nicely next i'm gonna go ahead and take these clips out and just hope for the best <laughs> y'all know i'm still in a learning process with trying to like properly curl my hair and i'm really picky about it like how it looks i didn't even do my lip combo that's actually nuts hold on let's go ahead and take these clips out girl hopefully it doesn't look a hot mess kind of giving like a blowout curl look and I really love that. And so we're getting better. It's not perfect, but we're getting better. Honestly, it looks really good today. So I'm not 
too upset about it. Um, now that we are done with hair and makeup, I'm gonna go put my outfit on and then I will come back and I will show you guys the completed look. I'm gonna move this down a little bit because y'all can't even really see the fit for real. Okay, so here is my OOTD. She's so, I love this outfit, it's so cute. So pants, you guys know the super cute trousers I got from H&M. I love the fit in the back and how it just fits perfectly around my waist. And these are not tailored, by the way, because y'all know with trousers sometimes, the fit is really weird. Like they'll fit here, and then it'll be a really weird, like baggy situation going on in the back with like hella space. So if you've been needing some really cute, like fitting trousers for the fall, I would definitely recommend these because they're so cute and the fit is almost perfect. Even like towards the bottom, they're not like high waters, they're not too long. They fit me just right and I'm around like 5'2", five, 5'3". Five, Height reference, but anywho, the top is so cute as well, is from Amazon. Love her. This is actually like a workout top, like an athletic top, but I'm wearing it with the trousers today because I just really love like this little detailing here around my neck and like shoulders. I feel like it's so, so flattering on me and I just love her. She's so cute. So yeah, this is what we are wearing. Oh, and I just have on my little neutral colored New Balances. And the shoes also have like gold in them, which is perfect because it pairs nicely with my little Fendi bag. I'll be wearing this today. It's like a little crossover bag. Y'all seen this bag before, probably a hundred times at this point. So yeah, this is my little fit girl. She's so, so cute. It gives like day with the girls and i'm just loving the vibes also i took off that lip combo because it was just a little bit too dark um this one's like on the darker side too it's not as pink but the other one was like really really dark and i just i didn't like how it looked in like natural lighting because you guys know the bathroom light be a little bit different than like natural lighting and so it looked cute in there but once i like stepped out into like the natural light i was like yeah no so i took that off and we did um like a neutral lip color i don't know she's cute though it looks better than the other one anyways girl kelsey's actually already downstairs so really quick i'm gonna go ahead and grab you guys my keys my wallet and what else am i missing my camera batteries i desperately need my camera batteries if i want to vlog today so we're gonna grab all that stuff head downstairs and then more than likely i guess i will just pick you guys back up wherever we end up at next so yeah let's go ahead and head out Bye. all right y'all so we made it to lulu we made it Hi. why don't they have the bone leggings like that's so annoying i want to see if they have the navy blue one in stock oh it's not over here anymore they must have changed it the navy blue definer jacket. They have a navy blue one oh, that has yes, gold. I saw that. The girl that I was like, yeah. Oh, I no, I know. I love her. I love her. And the white one. Look at the back. Let me see. So cute. Yep. Yeah. yeah, we didn't come here for that though. So. Yay! You're all set. Thank you so much. You. Have a good one. So cute. <laughs> Are you excited? You secured the bag. Yes. Guys. So excited. Right, we gotta show them. Your first oil, pour it on your first stick, the skinny end of the um, stick. You'll use your, your tray to help you catch the oils, okay? 
Then you'll find your second one. Cedar and saffron is my favorite. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Told y'all I'm an earthy girl, okay? I feel like we have the same nose. Yeah. Yes. I, like, I, like I can't wait to smell your too. candle. Yeah. I can't wait to smell it. Okay, so you're gonna find your pear, smell it. Oh, I love. See how you like that blend. Yeah. So you're gonna have your two, smell them together, make sure you like the blend, and then add in the third one. You'll just do the same technique, add that third one in. The third one will change it. That's why I tell y'all to find y'all two, then the third one. I typically put the third one in the middle, smell it, see how you like it. <laughs> Okay, so what y'all are gonna do, y'all are gonna do the same technique. It's 47 different oils. Uh, everything is mixed in together. So how do we remember which oil? You can use your pen to write on the um, bigger end of the stick if you want to keep up with the names of it. Okay, perfect. Thank you. I was looking at this one. This is salted caramel. But then I was looking at this one. This is caramel macchiato. But then I was looking at this one. This one's cedar and saffron. And I love the base of this. So maybe we'll do this for our base and then go in with a few other like fall scents. I want it to be something that I can burn all the time, but still give fall. So yeah, I really like this one too. This is called gingerbread. That smells really good. I don't know. Oh, they also have this one. Blueberry pancakes. I'm intrigued. Let's go ahead and smell this one and see what this one smells like. I really like this. I really like this a lot. Okay, so now we're gonna pick the container that our candles are gonna go in. Of course, I'm going with the white. Y'all already know the vibes. So we're gonna get a white one. You have your I'm a graphic designer. It's two ways. I'm using Seder and Saffron. What is how you say this? Palo Santo. Palo Santo. So what's your plan? Do you have that dramatic music? Oh, yeah. Alright. She said add. It's a little. And smell the spoon to see what it's giving. Right. All good things take time. Okay. I'm scared. It's giving. He loves the candle, y'all. It's so good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. Queen. Mary. So these are the three that Kelsey chose. And she ate. I love that. I'm about to steal that. She ate that. She ate it up. Okay? So she did this one. We both actually did this one for our base. And then these were her two that she chose. Heavy handed bitch. No shade. That's what I'm gonna do. Heavy handed too. I'm gonna go heavy handed. I'm gonna like she might need a heavy handed. We need you eight there? point. Did it go to the top? It is. Okay, you almost there. Okay. It's way over eight point ten. We're crazy. <laughs> oh, oh no, it doesn't win. No, it doesn't. No, you didn't. Do that. I'm at eight ten. No All right. Eight ten. Okay. Put it down. Put it down. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Too much? Yeah, I think the the skin. All right. Just yet. I'm gonna set a timer for 60 seconds. Now, we can now. Happy birthday to you! Yeah. Happy birthday! 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 Okay, so in the middle of the uh, You can put it like on the tray on the side. Just gonna take away from the set it. Stop laughing. Hands hold. 
packaging that I chose and the name I chose was called Autumn Affair. Very much sweet, sexy, and warm scents. So let's go ahead and open her up and see what she looks like. She's so cute and it smells so good. It smells so good. Our instructor told us that we have to wait to around like two weeks to actually burn the candle, which sucks because I really wanna burn her tonight, but we'll just have to wait. But I'm really excited to see like how she burns. It smells so good. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. We also stopped at Lulu, how I told you guys, and picked up the um, gold and bone definer jacket. I got the crop version. I'm not sure if it comes in like the regular defined length, but I got the crop version. And it's so cute. So I can't wait to wear this. So cute, the color on my skin is like my favorite. So I'm excited about that. Um, anywho, I wanna go ahead and take a shower and wash this makeup off. We didn't have time to like stop and get food and stuff. And so I was thinking that we could just make something for dinner. And so I was thinking that I can just make dinner tonight. Um, I'm definitely not going to go out and get the groceries. I probably will just order them. And so I guess I will just um, pick you guys back up once the groceries get here. What's up, y'all? So as you can see, girls, a whole, whole lot of time later. I have a love-hate relationship with Into the Park because I'm very, very, very picky when it comes to my food and just how it's prepared and like what it tastes like. And so when it comes to raw food, like my groceries, I wanna make sure that you're like picking out the best one out of the bunch. Like make sure you get my stuff from the back, how you would do if you were shopping for yourself. But tonight was good. We had one replacement that I am not upset about, but I've never cooked this before. And so it'll just be something new for me. But anywho, I'm gonna show you guys what is on the menu for Mariah's kitchen tonight. I'm trying to go ahead and like take all the stuff out of the bags. So it'll just be a little easier to kind of like give you guys a haul. I'm really excited about tonight's dish, even though this is something that I've never cooked before. I feel like it's the first time for everything and it's not that different than what I initially ordered. So it should be fine. Anywho, so initially I ordered lamb chops, right? And you guys know I love to cook lamb chops. I feel like I have one of the best lamb chop recipes ever. But tonight I was gonna be preparing it just a little bit differently. I saw this um, Mediterranean style like lamb chop recipe on TikTok and I wanted to give it a try. So that's the way I was gonna be cooking the lamb chops tonight. I got my baby spring mix for the Greek salad. I was gonna do, we have some cucumber of course and um, this red onion, got some feta and some baby tomatoes and i have like um banana peppers and like other stuff for the greek salad already so for the order i just got like basically everything for the salad that i didn't already have and then i saw this dressing this is called garlic expressions it's a really good vinaigrette dressing and marinade and so i figured we could use this tonight and then i also picked up some a1 sauce just in case i want to have some with my lamb meat tonight. I don't think we're gonna need it, but you know, just in case. And this is what I'm most excited about. This is basil pesto. If you know, you know, this is gonna take the lamb meat to the next level. I'm really excited to see, you know, what that cooks like, what it tastes like with the lamb meat. Like I am very excited. Now, moving on to the hiccup. Oh, sorry y'all, I also got some spilling grill. You know, I love sparkling water and this is my favorite brand. So I just got some more sparkling water. But what I was saying, y'all, I originally ordered lamb chops and I guess they didn't have any more lamb chops in stock. And so I messaged her on the app and I'm like, okay, well, what other like lamb meat options do they have? And I guess I could have worded it differently, but like what I was trying to say was what other like lamb chop brands are there like if they don't have the green wise brand like do they have another brand like i was just trying to figure out what other brands of lamb chops they had and somehow some way 
there was some miscommunication and she ended up getting the lamb loin chops. So basically, this is the lamb meat, but without the stick, if that makes sense. And so this is what it looks like. I've actually never cooked these at home before. So that's why I was telling you guys I'm a bit nervous about the outcome. But honestly, I don't think it'll be that hard to kind of figure out. And so I was like, okay, girl, we're going to see what is given because I was really in the mood for some lamb tonight and I wanted to cook it myself. And so I guess this is what we're going to be working with. Honestly, though, these are a lot cheaper than the lamb chops I initially ordered. So I'm not mad. And I was able to get two freaking packs. And so, yeah, that's crazy. But that is what we are cooking for tonight's dinner. Um, sorry if you can hear my dishwasher. I meant to say that before I started talking, but the dishwasher is going. So if you hear a noise, that's what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and put the sparkling waters in the refrigerator. Let those chill for a bit while we get started on our dinner. I'm really excited. I know it's gonna turn out good. I'm a good cook, okay? And so, yeah, let's go ahead and just get into it, girl. Let's go ahead and get started on dinner. freaking good honestly um i wasn't expecting it to turn out good like i know it's gonna turn out good i ain't know it's gonna be that good probably like my best work that i've done in a really long time like so good the meat was so tender so flavorful and i'm not sure if i included this part in the cooking like montage portion but here's a tip i learned from tiktok so if you have meat like steak, um, beef tips, lamb, whatever, and you're cooking it last minute like I did tonight, and you didn't really have time to like let the meat sit and like marinate, you can fork it. So basically you just fork the meat and like season it. That way when it's cooking, all the seasonings kind of go in those holes and kind of marinate it from within. And so ever since I learned that little hack on TikTok, I've been doing it and the meat comes out perfect like every time like y'all I'm not even lying like I can throw down like one thing about it y'all know I go out to eat a lot but one thing about it I can cook okay and I take pride in that my great grandma my mom like baby I have learned from the best and so tonight's dinner definitely turned out really good my stomach is full but not full enough to not have nothing sweet after i eat okay so i got me some what is this 
Jenny's, the gooey butter cake. Hold on, I'm trying to turn it around so y'all can see. If you've never had this ice cream from Jenny's, you are living life wrong. Girl, this is so good. I guess just hits the spot every time. This is like top tier, I'm not gonna lie. Y'all know when I was going dairy free for those like three, four months, I would still eat Jenny's, but I would get the Texas sheet cake um, I know they have like other dairy free options also, but like that was the one that I will always get. That one's really good too. This one right here. 10 out of 10, so good. I look at my analytics now on YouTube more than ever and I'm literally so close to 15K, which is nuts because you guys know we literally just hit 10K at the beginning of the summer and now we're coming towards the end of the summer entering fall and we have a whole new community of people so if you are new to the channel go ahead and leave a comment down below i would love to reply back to you and kind of get to know you guys a little bit more like our community is just getting bigger and bigger every day and it's crazy like it's just so crazy and I'm just so grateful if you've been tuning in to all the Vlogtober vlogs and sharing the videos and giving the videos a thumbs up and leaving a comment. Like, I don't think y'all understand how much any little bit of engagement that you guys do. Like, it just goes a really long way for our channel. And so I really appreciate you guys. And if you aren't new and you've been here from the very beginning, thank you so much for continuing to support me. I know it's a few of you guys that I know for sure, like I can like envision the username right now. Like y'all be under every video. I see all the comments. But anyways, girl, I'm not finna um, sit here and talk y'all heads off cause y'all know I can, I can yap. I can get to it and we're not doing that tonight. One, because I'm really tired. And for two, y'all probably are tired of me yapping anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you tomorrow in Vlogtober day 12. Bye. <laughs>